Okay, everybody, I have a guest with me today. We were, I was gonna do a technique anyway today, but uh, we had an awesome guest stop in and train with us today. This is Hudson Taylor. Hudson, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I was a wrestler at the University of Maryland. I was a three-time All-American there. Um, and then I coached for a couple of years at Columbia, and now I'm fortunate enough to have found jiu-jitsu. So, uh, just sharing some wrestling knowledge with uh, the jiu-jitsu community. Yeah, he showed me a really cool move, so we're going to share it with you guys today. So, yeah, so, thank you. So this is uh, the Asgaroff throwby. So there's a, an Azerbaijani wrestler who hit this uh, and won an Olympic gold medal with it. And so the way that this works is I'm going to do a left-handed collar tie, but I'm going to pull my opponent's head to give him head position. So he feels really dominant in this position because I've given him this. Second, um, my opponent usually, their, their natural reaction is then to come to an inside tie, right? So I'm just gonna rotate around here. As soon as they do that, I'm gonna come to the outside elbow. So with a collar tie and the outside elbow, this is where the Asgaroff throw by really becomes effective. I'm gonna take my right uh, and want an Olympic gold medal with it. And so the way that this works is I'm gonna do a left-handed collar tie, but I'm gonna pull my opponent's head to give him head position. So he feels really dominant in this position because I've given him this. Second, um, Second, my opponent usually, their, their natural reaction is then to come to an inside tie, right? So I'm just gonna rotate around here. As soon as they do that, I'm gonna come to the outside elbow. So with a collar tie and the outside elbow, this is where the Asgaroff throw by really becomes effective. I'm gonna take my right foot and step it in between my opponent's legs. I'm now gonna open my hips up and pull the elbow by. From this position, I can pull them down to the mat, I can take their back, um, and a, a lot of other opportunities for us. On this side, showing this again, I'm gonna collar, give them head position, wait for them to come to the elbow, come to the outside, step in, throw by. Now I can come to the thigh pry, I can pull down, um, lots of different opportunities. One other way to get into this, if we're not going with the collar, is uh, I'm going to attack the elbow. So we're on our feet, I attack elbow, he comes inside tie. Yeah. And now we're in that same position, I'm just gonna collar tie and pull it in. So we can, instead of starting from the, the collar, we can also start from the elbow, and then again, go to the throw by. Um, and then one offensive opportunity for the alternative for this, is say I go elbow, he comes inside tie, I come collar. Instead of going throw by, we can also use this to attack a single. So I'm just gonna change my, my level, pull the elbow as I go inside reach on the single. Lock, and now I'm, uh, I'm in on a really deep single leg. Very cool, thank you so much for the tips. It was really cool, cool working with him today and he, I picked up some really cool things. You guys give it a try, see what you think. I have one more question. Would you, is there anything that you would change if you were in the gi? Like uh, the, the grips or anything like that? How would this uh, yeah, apply? Yeah, um, you know, I'd have to play with it. I mean, I sure. think that the, the, the collar doesn't need to be on the back of the neck. It can be here. It can be on the lapel, right? So if I can. But head position is If still I can pull you from here, now we're still in position. Sure. Um, so I would say that's the only thing is, you know, when you have the gi, you don't need to have that. that, uh, that grip on the back of the neck. Awesome. Thank oh, you so much. Yeah, really appreciate you. you. Give it a try, guys. Let us know what you think.